Have fun, Jackie. Is she there? She yeah. is. Hey, Jackie. I'll leave her on. You can talk to her. How are you, hon? I'm good. How are you? Well, good. Good to have you here. So, we're going to do a lot of what we what we normally do in class uh, with a little bit of variation. And uh, we want to get your heart rate up. And, uh, oh, there she is. That. Oh, yeah, there she is. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> what will I get? Huh? What will I need? Yeah, nothing really. I mean, unless you have uh, something uh, weighted like a can or, or a, a strap or anything like that, a, a light dumbbell, anything like that. Because... That's fine. That, that's fine. And a chair. A chair I would use for, we're going to use for balance if you need it. And this won't be. That's fine. And you know, this won't be as intense as what we normally do because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit everybody. I'm, I'm trying to hit the people in the chairs and the whole ball of wax. So again, you can take anything that we do and you can double it. Um, you can do it more, you know, more, more reps or whatever. So keep that in mind. But I think you'll be breathing hard when you're done. But it just won't be, it won't be exactly the same as what we do because you work hard. You work really hard. Yeah, and, So that's that's good then that you're getting started and you're getting started slowly. Yeah, I was glad to see you were coming live. I knew you would help me. You bet. You bet I will. Okay, Mike I'll and I both. So I'll be right back. Hi, Mike. Hey. Yeah, go ahead. Take a minute. You're fine. And most importantly, just have fun. Yeah, that's the key, man. That's the key. You bet. And so what we'll do is I'll kind of just kind of how many reps we're doing on this kind of thing. Like for example, front lunge, how many, we'll maybe do do five or 10 forward, five or 10 back, whatever. Should we alternate them or just do one leg? Oh uh, yeah, 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 I do maybe, we can maybe do five and five and then go back and do a five and five again and then we'll go rear, rear lunge. As soon as she's back, we'll rock and roll. Okay. That's good, I'm glad. It's gonna work out really well. Ordered a couple books off Amazon. I ordered four books off Amazon. Ah, you ready? Yeah, that's good, honey. Those are good. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna do our little warm up. We're gonna do that walk that we normally do. So, so I want you to find a spot in the house where you can walk just a little bit and kick that leg up and try to try to get that leg up about ten times and do the little walk. That's good. And, and be careful you don't fall. That's good. Get about 10 of those in there, that walk. It's kicking that leg out. That's good. And that stretches that leg and it stretches those glutes out. So that's really good. You get about 10 of those on each side and then we're gonna do it from the back side. So we're gonna do butt kickers. Butt kickers, so get them up there and get about 10 of those on each side. That's good. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're gonna get you breathing hard here eventually. And if you haven't you haven't done anything, it maybe won't be that hard. But but that's good. Alright, now you're gonna go, you're gonna do that sidewalk. So we're gonna do about ten of those. One, bend, two, bend, good warm-up. Just kind of, yep, you got it, you're cooking. Ten of those, that's excellent. Good, Mike's doing a real good job with that. All right, yeah, you're good. Did you get 10, roughly? Yep. All right, good. All right, let's march, let's go slow. We're gonna march slow, we're gonna do three speeds of marching. Move those arms. So we're gonna those move those arms. arms, move those legs, good. And then you can bring those knees up as high as you can when you once you get warmed up a little bit. And then we're actually gonna pick the pace up so we're gonna march a little faster. We'll almost get to a jog here. And I know I'm gonna be out of breath when we're done. That's good, keep her going, keep her going. Now let's pick it up a little bit here. Let's get it high. High, arms are moving, legs are moving. 
That's good. Get that heart beating. Excellent. Keep her going. Keep her going there, Mike. Go a little higher. Come on, Jackie. Keep we'll it up. Keep five, it up. Four. Keep it up. Three, keep it up. Two. One. Excellent. All right. Now let's let's stretch these legs out. Let's grab this leg behind and let's hold it for five seconds. Pull it up. I would use a chair. And I'd hold for about five seconds. Pull and your, pull your foot towards your butt. Yeah, get that foot up as high as you can. You're stretching that leg out nice. And then we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna do five of those on each side. We're gonna make sure those legs are nice. And yeah, you're gonna need that chair. I am anyway. Pull that heel right into that, that rear area. There's one. Okay, let's go to the other side now. Let's go two. Pull it up. There we go. That's good. Count of five. Let's go to the other side. Two. Count of five. That's a little tough pulling that back. It's a good thing I got this chair here. <laughs> and three. It's getting that. Yeah, that's good. Getting that quad. Getting that quad in there, right in there. And three on the other side. Pulling it up, and I'm leaning forward. And as I pull up, I'm leaning my weight forward and tightening my glutes. Okay, four. On this side. Four on this side. And we're about done. If it cramps up on you, just go ahead and pull it back and straighten it out. Here's the last one on this side. Good. And here. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the hams. So we're gonna cross the legs and we're gonna bend down. And again, you may wanna use this chair. I'm going to, as a matter of fact. And I'm gonna reach down like so. As far as you can. As far as I can, I'm gonna hold for a count of three and I'm gonna switch. Okay, so then I'm going on this side now. I'm gonna switch chairs here. There we go. We're gonna do five of these. There's one. All right, let's go to the other side. It's a good stretch. You feeling that stretch in the hamstring? Oh, I sure am. You bet, that's what you want. And then let's switch, second second one over here on this side. Well, I'm feeling, that's pretty good. I'm feeling too. And what you're gonna notice is, as you do this, if you can't touch the floor, as you progress in this, you're gonna be able to eventually touch the floor because that muscle is stretching out, which is exactly what we want. There's three, other side for three. And then we're gonna go four, down to three, and we're gonna go four on this side, and we got one more to go, and that's good. That is a good stretch. That's five, and I'm all the way down now, finally. It's when I started, I couldn't touch the floor. Now I can because that muscle stretched out. Here's our last one over here on the left side for me. Good. <sighs> Very good. Shake them out, good. Now, we're gonna do front lunges. So we're gonna do five on the right side. So again, I may want, I'm gonna use the chair because look, I'm going down here and I'm gonna hold for count of three. All right, and then I'm gonna come up. Get a slight lean forward. That's gonna activate those quads and glute a little bit, your glute a little bit more, okay? That's right. Let's try to get a little bit lean. Now go to that other Move side. Forward a little bit. All right. Well, I can feel that. I can tell. Count of three. There's one on each side. Let's go to two on this side. And and again, when you lean down, if that bothers your knee, don't go as far. You only have to go as far as you can on that. Here's the second one on the left for me. Good. And then I'm going to go three. And again, you might find that you can touch that knee as you progress because it, everything's stretching out. Let's go three on the left side for me. That's good. That's getting those hips in there. Here's four on the right side. And four on the left side. Yeah, boy, that is good. That's a good stretch. And five. And five. Excellent. All right, now, this one's a little tougher because you're gonna rear lunge now. So instead of going forward with the right, I'm 
I'm going back. All right, and I'm gonna keep my head up and my glutes in. I got one here, going one to the left, three count, one, two, three, excellent. Now I'm gonna go number two over here on my rear lunge. One, two, three, and number two on the left side. One, two, and three. Okay, let's go three here. Man, I'm really stretching those babies out, and I don't do that very often. That's good. I'm feeling it. There's three on the on the left, four on the right. Well, that's a good one. Four on the left, and last time on the right. Rear lunge and left. All right. Good job, Jack. Ooh, good. You feeling that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right, now, a goblet squat, if you take a weight, take your five pounder, and I'm, you can use a bell, you can use a, a kettle, whatever. And what you want to do on the kettle, I'm like this. But yeah, that's fine, like Mike's got on the weight. And then you're gonna, you're gonna keep the head up and put the butt back. Yep and squat down and come up. Excellent, we're gonna do 10 of those, all right? So there's one, let's go two. Good. Go ahead, Michael, you got it. All right, Jackie, push those hips back, down. Good Three. job. Excellent. Good. Working those legs, good. Down, keep the weight back on your heels, okay? Yep. Four. Good. Down. Looking good. Very Five. good. Excellent, keep that Excellent. core tight. Form is good, your form is good. Pushing those hips forward, your Six. head's back, your shoulders are back. Those Excellent. Are good. Seven. Seven. And if you can't do 10, that's all right, huh? don't worry about it. Good. We're just throwing 10 out there. You can always do six or seven, or you could even do more than 10 if you wanted Eight. to. Two more, Jack, you're doing great. Two more. And down. Nine. Excellent. All right. Good job. One more, one more. One more, okay, yeah, good. One Get more. That in there. That's good. Perfect. Those are good. All right, she's breathing. She's breathing, Mike. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jog in place. So, so we're going slow. Going slow. That's good. I'm keeping those legs. We're getting all that circulation going throughout the body. This is really looking good. And I'm kind of up on my toes. Instead of being flat footed, I'm up on the toes. So that's warming up those calves back there also. So we're getting a real good leg workout here. Now I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. Let's go a little faster. Good, good. Now I'm gonna go hard for 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Relax, relax. I'm out of breath, Michael. Me too. <laughs> My cardio is not as good as I want it to be. All right, now, we're gonna go from there to your shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these arms, pull them straight back and down. And then you're gonna lean forward when you do that. So pull them down. And if you want to bend it a little bit, you can, but I, I like to stay straight up and just pull those shoulders back. And I'll do that about five times. So I'm going forward here, and then I'm gonna pull them back and I'm gonna pull down on those hands. I'm gonna do about five of those and warm up those shoulders. Those are excellent. Got four, and I got five. Very good. Okay, now, right the side lateral. So we're going out here, we're gonna do 10. Again, if you wanna use a weight, that would be good. You might wanna start with the weight and then uh, maybe uh, after you do a few, you can set them down and go with the arm, but we're going out here like so. And again, we're keeping that posture good. Stomach's in, shoulders are back, and you do 10 of those, all right? Those are good. Excellent. Those are very good. And if that's not enough weight, you could do two, two fives with that. But you're doing good, you're doing real good. Those are good, you're gonna do 10 of those, then you're gonna switch sides, keeping that tummy in and those shoulders back. 
and you're squeezing those glutes when you do that. Those are good. Those are good. Give me 10 of those. She's doing good. She's doing good. We're working her hard. We're working her hard. <laughs> she's having fun because she's smiling. She always has fun. <laughs> she does a great job. She really does. Oh, she does. It's just so good to be doing it again. It, it is. It really is. I, it's, right down my own. It's, just not quite the same. it's not the same, is it? It just isn't. It really isn't. All right, good. Now you're gonna now you're gonna take that right or left arm, either one, and you're gonna do your front raise. Okay, because that's a different part of the shoulder. Now the last time we did the last workout we did we did overhead presses. So we're not gonna do overheads today, but you could do that. You could add that by just going straight up. In fact, what we did was a, we went up and twisted. But that's another way. To do it too so you can add that depending on how you feel and how tired you are but those are good okay and then we went then we did some balance okay balance. when you get 10 of those on each hand we're going to balance you remember the balance <laughs> how can you forget the balance <laughs> but yeah you're doing good you're doing real good and you're feeling it and that's what's important Excellent. Good job. Okay, now let's get that foot up and let's see if we can do it for 10 seconds. Yeah, make sure you got your chair. Tighten your stomach muscles. Tighten your stomach Tighten your muscles. Tighten your stomach, squeeze your glutes and try. And I see I haven't been doing it either, so I have to work on this too. And one leg is going to be a little easier than the other. But they, there again, this is something you can do anytime you want at home. In your spare time. We have a lot of spare time now, don't we? I'm getting an awful lot of things done Same. by being home, but I'd rather be here. Same. All right, then try that other foot. Let's see if we can hold for 10. See, I, I have a, I'm having a little trouble because I haven't done this for a while. And as we get older, we just lose. We just lose that balance. It's, it's terrible, but we do. Okay, now we're gonna do some chest. So, do you need to get a drink or something? Okay, yeah, I got your towel. I got one over there too. I need to probably use it pretty soon. I'm glad you're sweating though. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna stretch this arm across and hold. Pull this arm across, put your hand under here and pull across and hold for count of three. One, two, and three. three. Switch it. Pull all the way across. So we're getting that shoulder stretched out real good. There's one, two, three. Let's go two over here. Pull one, across. two, and three. Good. Second, second one over here. One, two, and three. And again, while you're doing this, remember to keep the, the glutes tight, stomach in, chest up. Here's my third time across. And my third time across. Okay, so now we're gonna do something a little different. I want you to pull it across, but lift it, okay, lift it. So now that's hitting a different part of that shoulder. All right, let's go this way, across and lift. Excellent, there's one, let's do three. There we go, other side, across and up. Excellent, that's two. You feeling that? Across and up, and one more time. Across and up. And one more. Across and up. Those are real good to do. Excellent. All right. Shake them out. Good job. All right. Now we're going to do a single arm punch out. So we're going to do 10 of these and then we're going to do five fast ones. So here we go. I'm going to start with the right arm. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Let's get 10. Five, pull that arm all the way back. Six, keep seven. Try to keep your elbow up. Try yep. to keep your elbow up. Eight. There you go. Nine, ten. Now we're gonna do five fast ones. Here we go. One, two, two. three, four, five. Excellent. All right, let's switch sides. There we go. Elbows up and out. One, two, two. three, four, four. Five. five. Good. Six. Six. Good. Remember, stomach's in. Seven. Heads up, chest is back, squeeze the glutes. Two more. One, 
and two. Now five fast, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, excellent. Very good, stretch them out. Now, you know what, you, if you have, if you want, now that weight might be a little too much, but you could also do that same exercise like this, and that's gonna make it a little harder if you add the weight to it, but you don't have to. All right, now, if you have a band, you don't need one, but if you have one, we're gonna stretch that chest. Oh, look at you, good okay. job. Pull that baby back like this. Press that chest out, pull out, squeeze. Yep, and out. And squeeze. Two, we're gonna 10 of those, here we go. Out, squeeze, three. And you should feel that chest tighten when you squeeze. Here's number four, good. And number five, oh boy, that is good. Six, again, I'm squeezing the glutes, pulling the tummy in, keeping the chest back. Seven, let's get three more. Those are good. Eight. And nine, good. And 10. Now, now that you have that in your hands, I'm gonna show you. Step on the one side, put it down here and step on it, hold it like, yeah, hold it like this. And then, look, you can do your, you can do your front raise with that. And, and, and the nice thing about that, you can adjust it. If it's too hard, you make it longer. But it, is that going to be too tough? Or is this... Oh, okay. Well, no, just, you know what? Step, look, step on it about halfway up. That's how you shorten it. Oh, I see. Yeah, step on it about halfway and then pull. There you go. Now, if that's too hard, just give it a little bit more length. And then you can do, you can also, yeah. And you can adjust that with your foot then. Yeah. And then you can do your side lateral with that, the same thing. You're gonna need it all, almost all the way long on that. And it, if it's, if it's yeah, if it's flopping on you, shorten it. Move your foot up on it. Yeah, now, see, now you're doing it. That's good. That's very good. So that's how you use that band. That's another way to use that band. That's excellent. Okay, so we're gonna go from there. You know what, we're going back to jogging in place. So this is gonna be a good one, let's go slow. And we're just keeping up on the toes. Good. Up on the toes. Good job, Jack, you move those arms. Looking good, baby. Butts tight, hips are in there, the stomach's in, shoulders are up. Kind of stand up on the toes. We're going a little faster now. We're looking good. Now we're gonna go a hard 10. So here we go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, excellent. Woo, that is good. All right, oh yeah. Now we're gonna to go to the back. Did I, you, yeah, you can get down on a mat, can't you? So you know how we do that hip raise at the beginning? We're gonna do 10 of those. All right, so Mike's gonna demo here. You probably remember this, you're laying back, your knees are up, and you're bringing the hips up, and you're holding for a count of three. Just like that. All right, give me 10 of those. Those are good. Take your time, you're fine, you're doing good. Looking good. Good, get 10 of those, you're on your own, that's good. Hold for a count of three, and that's gonna work that low back and all of that area, which is really good. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do our, our row, our push-up row. I'm gonna give you that as an option though, because I'm gonna show you the regular row, which, which we did on the last tape, but we can do that again, I'm gonna show you that. So when you get 10 of those, I want you to stand up. Excellent. Man, she's good. She is good. Okay, now, what we did last time, 
and you can do this as an option because I'm gonna do a different one today, but you can just row straight up, pull that elbow high. And, and you, can use the, you can use the band too if you want. If you stand on that band, you can also do that. Or you can use the dumbbells, but just pull that elbow up high. So yeah, get it as high as you can up here and get about 10 of those. That's good, those are real good. Now, if that's not enough weight, use both of those dumbbells. But you don't really need a whole lot of weight. I mean, you're, you're going through that motion and that's good. 10 of those and then we're gonna switch arms. Jackie, bend, bend forward a little bit more at the waist. Bend forward a little bit. There you bit. go. There you go. It's excellent. Good. Looking good, kid. Very good. All right. Ten of those. Big high elbow. Good. Nice. Good job. You are looking good. She is doing good. Mike, we're going to do that one where you, you're, on that, you're on the floor and you're rolling. You're bringing the arm up. In a plank position and just pull the arm. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, you can, yeah. Okay, good. Now, this one's a little different. Mike's going to show you here. We're going to do a plank position, and then when we plank, we're going to pull one arm up high. So you're going to row. You can use a weight or you don't need a weight either way. But well, watch how he does this. Goes down in the plank. And I think we've done this one before. And he pulls that arm up. See there? Now, again, try it without a weight and see if you can do that. And we're gonna do, we're gonna do 10. I wasn't, I never did get to planks on my toes. I was still on my knees. Okay, here. There you go. Okay. All right, give me 10 of those on each side. And again, yeah, yeah, you use your weight if you can. Those would be good, hon. Those are good. And then we're gonna go, um, we're, we're either down to standing. So then, yeah, we'll just go here. In fact, we'll bend just a little bit and go here. Okay. There's several grips on that that you can use too. Yeah, I didn't realize that. There's one that you can yeah. use. Oh yeah, you can do all kinds of different grips. You can even go back here, yeah. I've been, yeah, those are good. Hanging in there, looking good, Jackie. Yeah. And when you're done, just stand up and we're going to arms. Well, we're not, we got rear delts. We're gonna do rear delts. You know what? This is really working for her. Look at it. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're looking good, though. You're looking real good. Yeah, that would be good. All right, now we're going to do rear delts. So you bend over. And again, you can use weights, you can use cans, but you're going to take, you're down here with the hands and you're coming back like this. So this is getting right back here, those rear delts, right back like this. Okay, so you put them together and you pull up. Yes. Really squeeze your shoulder squeeze blades. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. That's excellent. You are looking good. She's knocking it out. That's good. And then I'll show you, we did some upright rows last time. I don't know if we did upright rows or not, but I'm going to show that to you. And, and again, that's an option for you. You don't have to do it, but it's another thing that you can do for that trapezius muscles there in the back. Excellent, feel that? All right, now look, I would take a bar, and you don't have to have a bar. I mean, you can even use, you can, you use, can use one of your weights. And you know, we did the chicken wings. Yeah. There's your chicken wings. And that's hitting the middle of the back. And that's what we did on our first video. So that's another thing that you can add to what we just did for, for back and shoulders. It's really back, but it's also shoulders. But those are good. Try to get about 15 of those in there. Those are real good. Excellent. She's cooking. Very good. Man, it's so nice to have somebody that's, that's here that we're talking to. Instead of just talking to the camera. Talking to ourselves. <laughs> that is so good. And she works very hard. She is just mm -hmm. fantastic on that. 
All right, now, now last time what we, we did some curls, so we won't do the curls, but you can do curls. But what we're gonna do is Zotman curl today. So I take, I take a hold here and I put my thumb across. So this is gonna help my grip as well as my forearm here. And we're keeping my elbow in here because on a curl, you keep your elbow in. But we're turning this weight and we're pulling it up like this. So now I'm getting more forearm than I am bicep. And I'm just pulling right up there. I'm gonna do about 10 of those. And then I'm gonna switch arms. And if you want to, like I say, you can add the curl if you want to. But this one today, and, I, and again, like I say, got the thumb over here because that helps my grip. Helps my grip and it helps my, my forearm here, my brachialis. So those are good. You do about 10 of those on each arm. That is good. Yeah, look, take that thumb. Let me get on the camera. There. See, I. Yeah, instead of wrapping it around, I'm going here. Yeah, now you're now you're working your grip as well as your forearm, and that's good. It's it's a little different to do it that way. But like I say, you're getting you're getting two things for the price of one, basically. There, that's good. And then we'll do a tricep kickback. Same arm, or yeah, over here, single arm, okay. straight back. Yep. Yep. And if I do a wrist curl, balance. Okay, now that was that was bicep and foot and and brachialis here. Now your tricep back here, kickback. So we're gonna pull this arm in here like this. Keep that elbow in. And just push straight back like that. There you go. Yes, now, yeah, now, keep, now get that elbow in closer. Yeah, you got to keep this elbow tight to your butt. There you go. Yeah, feel that? You're working it because I can see it. That's good. You get 10 of those and you work the other side, you do 10. That's good. And then I'll show you what we did on the first video because that's, that's an additional tricep exercise that I'll show you. Is it? Yeah, that one that we did. Those are good. Now remember, yeah, you're doing it good. Now you're doing well. And then switch sides. That elbow has to stay tight because what that does, it locks in that tricep. And, and that's important because you don't want to work any other muscle except the tricep there. So those are good. And you bend forward a little more maybe if you want. And you can feel that working back there. That's so just another way to do that tricep. Good job, Jackie. Keep that elbow wet. Very good. Now, here's what we did, and we you don't have to do this one today, but we went like this, and we held this, this arm up, and this is another way to do that tricep. So it's just a little different. But again, this elbow has to stay up. You can't let it come forward like that. You gotta just go straight up. And I always use this, yeah, and I always use this arm to make sure it stays straight up. Yes, yes. That's good, and then you'd use a weight for that. You don't have to, but that would be a good way to do that. Now, wrist curl. There's several ways to do a wrist curl, but we'll just do, show you this one today. I'm gonna sit, and I'm gonna take this weight, and I'm gonna let it go all the way out to the fingers, like so, and then I'm gonna roll it up and squeeze. And I wanna keep this wrist down, so I don't wanna be doing this. I wanna keep that wrist locked down, and just go here, and let it roll all the way down and come back up. Yes, that's the wrist. That's good. And when you get to this point, you wanna make sure you extend that out like so, and then just roll it back up. And keep that, you gotta keep that, use your other hand to keep that wrist in place on your knee. That makes a big difference. That way you're isolating that wrist and that's what we wanna do. Those are good. And then there's two other things we'll do with this. If you, after you do that, you can turn it around. And again, I place that wrist, that, that print, place that thumb over here. And look, I let it hang down, I hold it, and I come up this way. So I'm just reversing it. And that's a real, you see that? Yeah. 
okay, thumbs over top, and then I hold it down here, and I let it come up, just like that. But I'm holding this down because now I'm only using my wrist. I'm not doing this. I keep that arm down and come up there like that. And I do about 10 of those with each hand. So you get to tricep, we did the tri, we did the bi, we did the forearm, and now you're doing the wrist. Those are good. Good, good, good. And then we're going to go back to balancing. You good so far? Anytime you need to rest, you can rest. But we're going to go back to this balance now again. You can't work enough on that. Keep that core tight. She, I think you were doing pretty good with this, weren't you? I was, but I think I've lost it all. You may have, so you just go back to that. I mean, I have, I know, I can tell you. I mean, I'm not nearly as good as I was a month ago. But I haven't been practicing it either. Count of 10. See, I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty weak on that. Of course, I got a real bad ankle on this side. That doesn't help either. And then once, once you master those, then you go to the side, which is totally different. Now, the other thing you can do is if you have a, anything in the house, you can do this heel toe. This heel toe is tough, and you can practice that anytime. And that's a tough one too. That's that drunk test, they call it. <laughs> Field sobriety. <laughs> the sobriety, whatever, yeah. Super. All right, now, for the abs, we're gonna do side planks. Now you weren't down in the plank, but you can get down on all four and in that kneeling position and then go to the side. So Mike, I'll show you here. All right, Jackie, so what you're gonna do, you can start on either side. Okay, so you got, you got, you're gonna lay down and, huh? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, and then, and then lift and hold for, Let's say hold for 10 seconds. Pull and your do... shoulder back. So try not to be like this. Try to pull that shoulder back, okay? Gotcha. And hold for 10 seconds. Do three of them, and then we'll switch sides. Okay? All right. You got it. You're looking good. And then make sure you're breathing, okay? Don't hold your breath. Right. And try to breathe. Try to breathe through the nose instead of the mouth. Do the, do the nose. We don't want any belly breathing. We're going to work on that in a few minutes. So you do 10 seconds on each side, and you do it three times on each side. Yeah, she, she's one of our hardest workers, and I mean, she's, she's really gonna do well. I don't know. I agree. Yeah, she, man, she walks out of here, she's sweating. She's a good, really good person. That's fine, that's, that's fine. Good. You're that's good. good. Now, if you have a broomstick or something, and you don't need it, but if you have one, we're gonna just twist side to side like this. 